Reverse osmosis fitting. Fitting the saddle clamp. Unscrew the brass nut and select the desired pipe size from the curved metallic block. Locate the cold water pipe and tighten the saddle clamp to it using the spanner if required. Turn the needle valve in a clockwise direction. This will pierce the pipe. This needs to be turned fully until you are unable to turn further by hand. The RO unit comes complete with three filters and a membrane that will require installation. First, remove any packaging that may be on the filters. The three filters are fitted in the pods from left to right in the following order. Sediment filter, granular carbon filter, and carbon block. Fully tighten each of the pods with the spanner provided. Installing the membrane. Locate the nut to the right of the membrane housing and unscrew the nut to remove the pipe. You may need to use the small spanner to remove the membrane housing cap. Fully insert the membrane into the housing. The large rubber washer on the membrane should be to the right as you do this. Once the membrane is in position, reattach the housing cap and the tube that were removed earlier. The reverse osmosis is supplied with an easy to fit waste kit. Simply attach the two sections to your household waste pipe and drill a small hole using the threaded valve as a template. Tap. Using a half inch drill bit, drill a hole in the sink or work surface where you would like the tap to be positioned. Remove the tap from the packaging and fit the washers in the following order. Small thin washer, chrome disc, large thin washer. Now place the tap thread in the hole you have drilled. From below the sink, first place the thick washer, followed by the lock washer, and finally the nut. Fully tighten until the tap is firmly secure. Connecting the water. Unscrew the nut on the right hand pod. Push the nut and tube insert onto the tube from the saddle valve. Push the tube back into the housing and tighten. Tank connection. Fit the tank valve to the tank and using the same process as you did for the saddle valve, attach a length of tubing to the tank. Locate the T-valve on the smaller final stage filter. On the top of the RO unit, attach the tank tube to this valve. On the right of the RO unit, there should remain only one valve without tube connection. Fit a length of tube from this valve to the drain connection that was installed on the household waste pipe. Tap connection. Attach a length of tube from the remaining connection to the left of the RO unit located on the final stage filter. Using the nut and plastic olive, Attach the other end to the tap. Fully open the saddle valve and also the valve on the tank. Your RO unit will now start to produce pure water. It may take up to three hours to fill the tank. <laughs>